my scout master came to see me and he said, Janusz, until now we were scouts, but now we're going to be soldiers fighting for Poland. I was born in Warsaw, in a district called Wola. When a time came, I went to a local school, and then there was a sort of siege around the town, which lasted for quite some time. And when it surrendered, that was the real beginning of our life under German occupation. Father lost all his work, so we were really having a very tough time. My parents had friends further north, and the lady loaded two huge horse-drawn vehicles with cabbage and all sorts of things, and she traveled, this was winter, she traveled overnight to Warsaw, and to our surprise, she said, would we open our basement compartment, and they unloaded enough food to keep us going for a while, which was terrific. Obviously, the first thing they, they went for was the Jews, and the Jews didn't know what to do with themselves. And I remember we had a lot of, or my parents had a lot of Jewish friends, mostly musicians, and one of those mus musicians came to us, and I was very worried what's going to happen, because if Germans find out that we are hiding a Jewish person, We'll all be shot. One day, Gestapo came to the school and took all our names and addresses and said, tomorrow morning, six o'clock, you are to report at the rifle factory. Now, thanks to my personal intervention, I managed to tell my friends that, look, this is the first day and we are a bunch of fools. So there is your chance, do what you can to break your machine. And I think that six machines were put out of order and I think three of them have never recovered throughout the time I was there. My machine was electrically operated and it went to thousand revolutions one way. And if you change the on plus to minus, it would go in reverse to another thousand. And I remember I got it going at thousands, going forward, and then I went click, click. And I was stood, stood there like a fool and I was and this gadget suddenly stopped. And I said, what's wrong? Machine is going, and it was undoing itself. And when it undid itself, it flew in the air. There was a huge traveling crane, which went, and they were carrying a, big aircraft engine on it. And I don't know whether it was sabotage or not, but it broke loose and fell down from great height onto the ground. Almost instantly Gestapo appeared, lined us all up. They taken out from our group of 10 people and and they shot them. i never forget, the Gestapo officer was choosing his men. I remember when he came to me and looked me in the eyes and I was wondering what, what would happen. He took a man in front of me 
they were shot there and then in front of us in a factory. And we were told to go back to work. So this is an event which used to keep me awake many times at night because it was such a horrible thing to happen. My scoutmaster came to see me and he said, Janusz, until now we were scouts, but now we're going to be soldiers fighting for Poland. We might need you to throw a grenade or two, which put my, stood my hair up, but I joined and eventually I was sworn in and became a member of the Polish underground army. I was allocated to a unit which de dealt with intelligence and we were trying to locate where the Germans were, what was their strengths and all that. It was quite a dangerous thing because on one or two occasions we just walked straight into it and the Germans drew their guns, but somehow we survived. There was a, main, there was a big cemetery along the main road somewhere there. And the, 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 the Polish guys, army guys, buried a lot of weapons in the cemetery before they surrendered. The first action of my unit was to provide cover, making sure that no Germans came. And the other group was digging out the weapons. That was a sort of successful operation, if you like. But Germans didn't come and they dug their weapons and we went home, so to speak. There's no way that we were a match for the Germans. It would have been a very unpleasant end of it all. Germans had a custom of opening fire at a zero hour everywhere in Warsaw. So people weren't aware that something was nasty coming their way. And I remember there was a moment when I suddenly had an urge to go into the bushes with my stomach. And there was a guy coming by from my unit and I said, please, will you stand here for me for five minutes? And as he stood there, I went behind a little fence, a little brick wall, if you like. And as I dipped down, the Germans opened fire. And the, and the, and one shell exploded where I left my friend. So he was ripped up to pieces. One of the first orders I was given was to go and identify a certain guy who was a caretaker in a sort of block of flats having identified him that he was the guy that we were after. I read to him the sentence of death that was given to him by Polish court and I was told to shoot him. So I told him to lie down and shot him. It was a great shock to me to having to, to shoot a man.
I was a young man and I was fighting for my country. And I hope that things like that will never happen again. I'm very grateful to my guardian angel for pulling me through it. <laughs>